Assalamualaikum, salam sejahtera Captain Rais, founder, trainer program Lemak Tulip. Tahniah kepada beribu peserta program Lemak Tulip 2022 kerana berjaya ubah badan daripada gemuk ke kurus dan daripada terlampau kurus kepada berisi. 2023. Korang masih lagi gemuk? Eh, tak apa, biar aja. Gemuk kan cute, betul badan macam belon. Korang kan suka jalan pun susah, nak solat pun payah, badan cepat penat, cepat mengantuk, macam-macam penyakit pun senang datang. Mungkin juga korang suka badan korang dihina dan dikutuk ataupun 2023 ni badan korang masih lagi terlampau kurus. Eh, biar aja. Sebab korang kan suka badan korang skeping macam plywood, orang hina kutuk badan korang sampai kata korang ni macam ambil barang. Tapi untuk 2023 ni kalau korang nak ubah badan korang boleh join program virtual 7 hari lemak tulip. Kita akan guide cara yang paling simple untuk ubah badan korang melalui pemakanan yang paling murah, paling sedap dan tak perlu berlapar. Senaman yang mudah dan ringkas, tak perlu apa-apa alat. Boleh buat dekat rumah atau dekat mana-mana sahaja dan tak ganggu pekerjaan atau rutin harian korang. Bukan tu je, banyak lagi tips yang akan kita ajar. Yang penting method kita semuanya natural sesuai untuk laki dan perempuan tak kira umur, tak kira berat badan ataupun bentuk badan korang. Walaupun korang tengah ada injury ataupun tengah ada penyakit, korang akan nampak perubahan yang paling pantas dalam masa seawal 7 hari sahaja. Harga masih murah, tak pernah naik. 89 ringgit sahaja, money back guarantee kalau dalam 7 hari tak ada kesan kat korang. Batch Januari dah dibuka, boleh klik link untuk daftar. Bolehlah juga nak target untuk ubah badan korang sebelum hari raya tahun ni. Slot terhad, masa terhad, jangan menyesal atau terlepas peluang ni. Join sekarang program Lemak Tu Li. Assalamualaikum Salam sejahtera Ui, Apa hal korang Selamat kembali ke dalam channel YouTube Raiz Hamid Aris TV Masih lagi bersemangat YouTuber kegemaran rakyat Malaysia Indonesia Brunei Singapura Dan ramai lagi Raiz Hamid Apa hal korang Check it out now Ya berdua-dua Let's go Come on yo Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Allahumma salli ala Muhammad Wa ala Muhammad Yang tak tekan subscribe Ui, Sikit lagi Tekanlah sekarang InsyaAllah Supaya channel YouTube Raiz Hamid Moga-moga dijadikan sebab kebaikan untuk kita semua Di dunia dan di akhirat InsyaAllah jangan lupa tekan butang subscribe Now Korang mesti tahu kontroversi berkenaan dengan cerita filem Black Hawk Down Yang si Josh Hannett berlakon pada tahun 2002 tu kan Yang mana cerita itu dia tak cerita pasal Malaysia Yang pergi selamatkan ranger-ranger US dekat Mogadishu tu Yang dikepung oleh pengganan-pengganan Somalia ni Alhamdulillah nanti akan keluar cerita Malbat Misi Bakara Yang akan cerita sudut sebenar apa yang terjadi sebenarnya semasa Pertempuran dekat Mogadishu, Somalia tu Dan baru-baru ni juga ada viral Dekat YouTube yang mana Seorang tentera daripada US Bekas anggota ranger daripada US ni Dia membuka cerita sebenar Berkenaan dengan tentera Malaysia Yang menyelamatkan tentera US Sewaktu peristiwa bersejarah Black Hawk Down pada tahun 1993 So jom kita dengar apa kata Mak Salih ni the Malaysian armor personnel carriers, I can't, I can't compliment these guys enough. We needed more guns, so we took the cooks and the supply clerks and everybody else and we put them on five ton and deuce and a half vehicles, two and a half ton vehicles behind us and rolled out into the city streets with just as many guns as we could. We drove down a, a little a narrow road getting close to the Durant crash site and my vehicle came under an intense ambush. Yes. Um, in the process, we were hit by rocket propelled grenades and gunfire and I backed out of the ambush. And we started to drive our way around the city and as we were driving around the city to come into the crash site from the backside of the city, mm. uh, we linked up with a bunch of other rangers from the Humvees that were trying to make their way back to the base. But quite frankly, the vehicles were so shot up that they couldn't even move anymore. They were being pushed by some of the large trucks. So we stopped what we were doing, grabbed all of the dead and the wounded off of those vehicles, put them on our Humvees, drove them back to the base, got more fuel, got more ammunition, got ready to go back out to get to the Duran crash site. But at this point, our commander, the task force commander, Major General William Garrison realized we can't keep putting these Humvees in the city streets. They're getting shot to pieces. And these are the light-skinned Humvees. They didn't have armor back in those days. So we asked the United Nations if they would help us. And the United Nations, a uh, couple of countries from the United Nations showed up with armor and uh, tanks. The Malaysians came with their armored personnel carriers and the Pakistanis came with a couple of tanks and they met us all at our base at about 11 o'clock that night. We all drove back out there together. Me and my men stayed on the same Humvees. Three of the four tires shot flat underneath us and stayed there until nine o'clock the next morning. 
fighting back and forth and losing men all night long until the rest of the guys that were out there in the city streets could, could get on those vehicles and we can drive them back out of the city streets. We became the bullet magnets. If, <laughs> if you wanted to kill Americans, come to the, to the streets where all of the Humvees are and shoot at the Humvees, which is basically what happened all night long. The Malaysian armored personnel carriers, I can't, I can't compliment these guys enough for their courage. They basically kept a driver and a gunner in those vehicles and then handed the rest of it over to us and said, we'll, we'll go wherever you ask us to go. We'll do whatever you ask us to do tonight. We're here to help out. The Pakistanis in their tanks, not so much. They rolled in there, got shot at a time or two and rolled right back out of there and left the Humvees and these Malaysian APCs in the city streets. Um, so we had so many dead and wounded from our task force that we couldn't put them inside these armor personnel carriers. Big white vehicles with giant UN letters painted on them because they were doing a UN mission. And what we ended up doing is putting the guys that were wounded inside the armor personnel carriers, putting the dead bodies on top and uh, just letting them hang off of the top of the Humvee or those APCs, armor personnel carriers which means the blood is just running down the sides of these white armor personnel carriers. And we really stayed there basically until everybody that was killed at the crash site, all of the bodies of the pilots and the crew from those helicopters could be recovered. Yeah, one of the things that was really a challenge for us is range, the, 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 the task force ranger. Now it wasn't just rangers, it was other special operators from the Air Force and from the Navy and yes. other special operators from the U.S. Army. Uh, special Force U.S. Yeah, I didn't want to look in the And we didn't have the full array of the military capability with us. So we didn't have close air support and we didn't have naval gunfire and we didn't have jets and uh, artillery to bail us out. We didn't even have American uh, tanks, though we repeatedly asked for them, we had to. A we had when we got in trouble that night. We had to ask the United Nations to come help out, which they did. And again, I can't thank enough the Malaysians for what they did that night, um, and other forces from the U.S. Army's 10th Mountain Division, fighting their way to get to us and fighting by their by our side that night. The Malaysian armor personnel carriers. I can't. I can't compliment these guys enough. <laughs> Alhamdulillah, bangga aku bila dengar Dan aku rasa kalau korang dengar tadi tu Dan korang bayangkan Macam mana tentera-tentera kita Malbat satu ni pergi rescue Tentera US Ranger ke Diorang punya Special Force pun Kita pergi rescue, babe Okay, macam yang diberitahu tadi lah Tentera Pakistan yang wakil pada UN ni lah Terut dihantar Tapi bila diorang dah kena tembak Diorang belah, babe Tapi tentera Malaysia stay Sebab itulah aku berani cakap yang tentera Malaysia ni adalah yang terbaik di dunia. Mungkin orang akan cakap, eh aset kita lama, aset kita. Tapi bukan aset tu yang menentukan tentera tu bagus ke tak. Tapi individu sebagai seorang tentera tu, dia punya semangat dia, dia punya keberanian dia, skill dia. Itu sebenarnya lagi penting kalau nak diukur seorang tentera yang hebat. By the way... Itulah cerita yang sebenarnya dan aku harap nanti bila misi bakara ni akan dikeluarkan nanti Semoga dapatlah kita dapat dia punya apa aa, bayangan okay, Dapat digambarkan nanti dekat dalam filem tu Nanti apa yang diceritakan oleh Mak Saleh bekas ranger tu tadi Dan aku menarik juga aa, perhatian aku lah Yang katanya adalah satu yang komen dekat aku punya salah satu post yang cerita pasal Black Hornet dan sebagainya ni Katanya eh Mana ada tentera US ni sorok? Mana ada tentera US ni tak bagi tahu cerita yang sebenar berkenaan dengan pelibatan Malaysia, jasa Malaysia ni. Diorang cerita dekat de, apa YouTube, dekat semua dah bersepah-sepah dah. Eh, hey, aku nak ceritakan kau dekat sinilah. Tentera US tak buka mulut bila ada dekat Malaysia yang terlibat semasa Black Hornet punya insiden tu, barulah tentera-tentera US ni yang mana terlibat ni, diorang buka mulut dan menceritakan benda yang sebenar dan pada Disember 2013 barulah US betul-betul merakamkan jutaan terima kasih dan mengiktiraf bantuan yang telah diberikan oleh tentera Malaysia melalui Malbat 1 kepada tentera-tentera US yang terperangkap dekat 
Mogadishu semasa peristiwa Black Hawk Down. Lepas 20 tahun, benda tu jadi 1993, 2013 baru US Iktiraf. Jadi daripada situlah yang barulah tentera-tentera -tentera US ni buka mulut. Kita jangan nak deny lah. Adalah PL US ni dorang akan nak jadi hero je. Okey walaupun ada tentera lain daripada negara lain yang terlibat nak selamatkan dorang yang turut uh, ada jasa dan sebagainya, dorang akan sorok benda ni. Okey tapi alhamdulillah lah akhirnya benda ni akan diceritakan juga dalam filem Albat Misi Bakara. Jadi insyaAllah nanti bolehlah tengok. Nah, Ogos 2023 nanti jadi sekiranya korang suka dengan video ni korang bolehlah tekan butang share dan sekiranya korang ada sebarang komen bolehlah komen nanti dekat bawah jangan lupa untuk tekan butang like butang subscribe dan butang loceng untuk notification video-video pada channel YouTube Raiz Hamid selepas ini insyaAllah semoga kita semua dikunakan taufik dan hidayah dipermudahkan urusan dan dimurahkan rezeki hargailah dan tolonglah appreciate lah kita ada tentera yang hebat dan jangan hiraukan sekiranya dekat YouTube kita tengok ada perbandingan Oh, askar Malaysia versus askar Indonesia versus itu semua itu semua ambil daripada open source daripada Google je dan ada juga yang dia tokoh tambah biasalah yang buat tu daripada Indonesia ha, dia nak compare kan dengan askar Malaysia confirm lah dia cakap askar dia lagi hebat common sense lah itu normal ok tapi hakikat dia tentera US sendiri dah mengakui betapa hebatnya kita punya akatan tentera Malaysia tahniah kita jumpa lagi dalam next video Assalamualaikum bye bye See ya, Malaysia.